Hi everyone, today I'm going through my boxes of watercolor tubes. So over the years I've collected quite a few tubes of watercolors, uh, especially Daniel Smith and M. Graham. And there's so many I can't put all the colors in my palette. So I have 70 something different tubes of different colors and probably about 24 holes in my watercolor palette. So I just can't use them all. I do have another smaller one that I use for traveling, but again, uh, there's even less uh, room for the, um, for the, all the different colors. So I put the most common colors in my palettes and I put the rest of the tubes in, in my boxes. But that meant that I ended up forgetting about all the other beautiful colors that I had and never really used them, unfortunately. So now I'm at a point where I don't even remember what kind of colors I have. And I decided to just th sort through all of the tubes and do color swatches. At first I was going to sort them by brands and then I thought it was a bit silly. I just swatched them by colors. Uh, and I left some um, room in case I end up buying different colors, uh, different yellows or different blues so that I can swatch them in the same area. It was actually pretty fun to rediscover some colors that I hadn't used in a long time. Although it was a bit tricky with some of them because the binder had um, kind of separated from the paint so I had to use a toothpick and kind of stir inside the tube. Uh, a little tricky, a little messy too. But I ended up with pretty nice swatches. Although some of them are still a little bit sticky and I even lost a toothpick in one of the tubes. So I put a little note on the tube saying, uh, careful, there's a toothpick in there. So I'm really glad that I got to do this because now I have pages of uh, color swatches by color families and um, I can really use those as, as references if I want to paint something. It's kind of like what, what I do with my colored pencils. When I look for a color, I look at my swatches and then I can find a color really easily. Or if I can find the color that I'm looking for, I can still find two or three colors that I can mix together to get the color that I need. It's a very useful visual reference. I'm still going to keep the palettes that I have the way they are, uh, but you know, if I need an extra color, um, like a bright pink that I don't have in my palette, for instance, I can always just uh, put a little dab of paint in the palette and use it for the painting that I'm that I'm creating that day. So that was the uh, organizing that I did. It's not a big deal. It's not like a huge, uh, let's clean up everything because I put the tubes right back in the boxes. But now I know the names of the colors and what they look like instead of just grabbing a tube and looking inside and not seeing what they look like. So it's much easier that way. And I took the opportunity of uh, rediscovering my colors to uh, paint a little something, something hiding in a teacup. So if you want to see what it is, I've got a little uh, time-lapse video of that painting coming up soon. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.